go to a second game, there's no press conference, right? There is one? Yeah. Okay. I was told there wasn't one. I kind of want to go see this live, guys. Okay. I'd like to watch it live down here.
I think Auburn might score here. Yeah, I think Auburn might score here. Those girls got some resilience, like they ain't nobody business.
walk off. You never know. Could be a walk off.
Oh, did it just show? Yeah, well, yeah, I've seen the replay.
how that play just got us home about three hours. <laughs> I, I did not think about that. Like where you had that today. Let's do that math. Nine innings equals around 30%.
<laughs> I would. Oh, absolutely. Get her a bottle. Get her, get her a bottle, though. Much easier. <laughs> Much easier than you guys. If anyone needs a box score from the game, just raise your hand. I have a young man come around. He'll get you one. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, once again, I'd like to remind everyone uh, as we await 
order to arrive. Uh, cell phones, if you have them on, could you possibly please put them on silent for me and or turn them off. Uh, same rules apply. If you have a question, just raise your hand high. The LA is bringing the microphone. Uh, your name, your affiliation, and who the question is for. Everything's being transcribed. So you will get a copy of everything once we complete both set of interviews, uh, post game interviews. And it, did anyone not get a stat sheet? Anyone else need a stat sheet? Just let us know. Thank you. <coughs>
Good afternoon. At this time, we have University of Florida head coach Tim Walton, student athlete Lauren Hager, student athlete Taylor Fuller, student athlete Nicole DeWitt. At this time, coach, general comments about the game, then we'll open it up for questions. Well, uh, yeah, first of all, I, I, mean, I think uh, I already said this on TV a second ago that just what a, what a tremendous season for, uh, for Auburn softball. Great, uh, great offense, great components. I mean, I'm sorry, great. Uh, uh, coaches, great competitors, just a, a great game, great softball game. Um, you know, they were uh, a, a tough to prepare for. Um, you, they do, they're so much sim so similar to us in their bats, and you could see that with their third time through the lineup already in the fourth inning. But, um, you know, there's, there's really the, the main credit's going to go to, to Lauren and, uh, you know, Jen Rocha. I, I really wanted to pull, pull, pull uh, Lauren in the fifth just to, to, to change up the look. I felt like they were starting to square it up, and, and Lauren changed up the pitch changed up the pitch call and changed up the approach. So I think, uh, again, give them the two of them credit. Um, really felt like she started to, to really pitch a lot better, was was a lot tougher to hit. Um, you know, and, and again, I'll save you some time. We're not going to elaborate on what we did or how we did it, just to know that we did change up some things and make some adjustments um, with her. Um, but, uh, you know, give, I, I thought they, they got the momentum. Kirstie did a great job throwing the ball to the plate. We, uh, we, we escaped a little bit. I think escaped's probably a good word, escaped a little bit. Uh, but some nice defensive plays. Um, Taylor Fuller getting us on the board with the answer with two, and then we were able to get back with that one with Justine sliding into the plate. So I thought that was huge, just keeping the momentum where we wanted to. Um, not our best game. I think uh, a little bit, not a little bit, a lot goes to uh, Auburn. I thought they kind of took us out of our game a little bit by uh, the number of left-handed bats and you know just hitting the ball the other way and changing some things up. Very tough to, uh, it's really tough to defend. But uh, overall, just. Uh, I can't be more happy just to be here. This is our 10th time, uh, this is my 10th season. This is our seventh time here, four times playing for a national championship. And um, you can't win it if you don't get there. And uh, I'm really happy to, to coach these, uh, these players and uh, competitors and tremendous athletes. And um, you know, again, give them, uh, give them all the credit. I, I really think that they, uh, they really stepped up, found a way to get it done. Questions? Uh, Michael Kenny, Norman Transcript. Uh, uh, Nicole, can you just talk about what was your mentality going to the plate in the, in the final at bat? Just how good did that feel to, to see a run come across? I was just trying to keep it simple. I had a rough couple previous at bats, so um, I just I went to my slap, and then I just tried to place the ball into a little hole and found the hole, and Justine came around and scored. Uh, Fernando Fede, ESPN 50. Lauren, do you feel like over the course of the game, the strike zone wasn't as consistent as he was what you're accustomed to? She can't answer. She can't answer that question. And a question for Taylor, uh, down 2-1, you have that clutch at bat, getting the home run, just talk about what happened there. Um, yeah, I was the lead off in that inning, um, just trying to get on base for my team, turn the lineup over, get those caught batters back up, seeing more pitches, making her throw more pitches, and I just have to square it up. Oh uh, yeah, Lauren, Pat Dooley, Gainesville Sun. Um, can you talk about gunning it out? I mean, you threw 160 pitches, you get the most hits you've given all year. And it just seemed to be a battle for you out there, where you you've been obviously dominating so much. Yeah, I mean they're a great hitting team. Um, they were I haven't faced them yet, and uh, they were a great hitting team. Um, we just kind of made an adjustment to our pitch calling a little bit, but um, yeah, it was a battle. It was a dogfight. It was a nice clean softball game of just fighting each other and getting out so we needed to. Um, they did a great job. Their hitters are great, and they're very very well trained. And how much did you have left? I mean, I'm all about adrenaline. I'm all about that, the pump up. But I think I, you know, I would, I would have gone out there and done it as long as I could for sure. Chris Harry, get uh, GatorZone.com. Back to you, Nicole. You, you had been, you had been lifted for a, for a pinch hitter. Was it was hard to stay, you know, mentally in the game, focused in the game. Because you said you were frustrated with your first few attacks. Yeah, I was frustrated, but then I knew I had to get back in the dugout and cheer on Bree. I had to help out my teammate and root for her in any way possible and hope for her to get the hit. Um, that's a good. Uh, it's a good question. I think that uh, you know every team would probably like to have a little bit more left-handed uh, you know players just because of what they can do. Like you saw right you know, there with Nicole. Um, but I, I'll take this team. And I told them this in the middle of the year. We had a couple games where we were we just didn't play our best. And I told them I, I 
I'd die for any one of these kids. They, they are such great people and great character and great competitors. I think sometimes they have great athletes and they might not know what they're doing. These guys are fighters. We, we, we built this program because of them and they know how to win. I think that, that, that ingredient right there is probably the biggest component that I've taken from these players is you know, they may not be the best in, in, in every skill, but they're really good in a lot of skills and they're really good at the winning skill. And I'm really happy for that, that's for sure. Kyle Fredrickson, <clears throat> Kyle Fredrickson with the Oklahoman. A uh, question for you, Tim. You've got a, a team that's defending national champions coming back to the stage. What does it mean to you to have a freshman step up and, and really make the biggest hit of the, the game there at the end? You know, if it was Nicole or if it was, uh, you know, Kelsey Stewart or Bree, I mean, we're, we're happy. For, everybody's happy for everybody. Uh, I was happy for the way she responded. You know, I went matchup. Um, I don't know if you watched the, it wasn't that I was pitching. I went lefty. That left-handed pitcher's pretty tough on left-handed batter. So I knew by having my 9-1-2 all be left-handed in a row, I was going to have to pinch it for one of them at some point in time. We decided to bump Justine and, and pinch it for, for Nicole as opposed to pinch hitting for Justine and then maybe riding it out that direction. So we had that. I mean, that was a pre-plan that Bree was going to get the at-bat when the left-handed pitcher came in. That prompted them to, to make the pitching change back to um, back to Davis. So, um, and then the key was just keep, we just kept Bree out there for a little bit longer, um, and Jess and they just kind of rotated themselves through. But and this kid right here has hit some big walk-offs for us. I mean, she's done things already. I mean, she's she's a she's a good one, and Shane, we're happy that she's only a freshman because she's only going to get better. Nico Tan, ESPN 850, Coach. What's the message in the locker room after a tough, dramatic, long win like that one? The key word you said there was a long win, so it's a lot easier to have the, 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 the tough, long win conversation than the tough, long loss conversation, Nico. I think the biz, biggest thing is for us, we did we had a walk-off win here to get to the championship series in 2009. Um, it was very emotional. It was very draining, and our team didn't respond very well to the next game we played on Monday night against Washington. So I got that in my back pocket. We will definitely get them up tomorrow early in the morning. We'll do everything different than we've ever done before to prepare them so we can get rid of this emotional win to move forward for the for the championship series. And then as a follow-up coach, you enter the championship series without using Delaney or Lili. Is that kind of a, a positive or is that like a backhand, like, I lost my train of thought, like that one guy. Well, is, it po is, it, is it positive or is it a negative? I think that's probably the easiest way to say, is that a positive or a negative? You know, I, and I, for me personally, it's a positive because we were playing for a national championship. The negative is is that I've got two pitchers that haven't had experience pitching here in three weeks, um, but we're going to use them. So, um, you know, whether we can get Lauren into the pool tonight, swimming, and get get her get her uh, range of motion back, and see where she's at tomorrow, it'll be, it'll be more than likely a game time decision. What who we throw, whether it be Alicia or or Lauren or Delaney, um, but at the end of the day, we're, it's it's a good problem to have. I'd, I'd rather be in that situation. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, this is for Lauren and Taylor. Can you both just? Uh, Expound a little bit on what you see out of Nicole that uh, you think allows her to be able to come through in moments like this. I mean, I hit behind Nicole a lot during the season. Um, for most of the season, I've hit behind her. And she just has so many tools. She can do everything. Um, she can hit a home run. She can bunt for a hit. She can slap. She can swing away. Like, she just has so many tools. And, I mean, I wish sometimes I was lefty for that reason. But, um, but no, she's great, and she has a lot of heart and a lot of fight, and she knows what she's doing up there. Great knowledge of the game. Um, Lauren pretty much said it. Nicole's been in that position before. That's not her first rodeo here. So she knows what to do in that position, and she is usually successful. Yes, Tim, I, I was going to ask you about the uh, – at the end of the eighth, Auburn made that great defensive play at home plate. Was there a miscommunication on the base pass on the tag? You know, I, I'd hate to. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. That's, I don't think that's the way to, to go about coaching. Um, you know, I'll take the blame. It's easy for me. I'll just say hey, it's, it's my fault. Um, you know, whether it is or not, I'll just take the blame. Um, I think you know. Again, she had a great slide at the plate. Uh, I, I think you know. Even I, I think you know what? I, I won't take the blame. I'll say it's easy. You get caught up in emotions. And someone hits the ball that hard. Uh, their player did it the same way. We did it back in return. It's an emotional play. The ball's hit stung like that. And you're 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 wanting to win. So at, at the end of the day, yeah, we, we made a mistake. And whether you know, I, I should have had her back closer to the bag a lot sooner. I was gonna ask Taylor also, the, what was the momentum like in the dugout after you hit the home run? You back um, in the game after falling behind two to one. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's difficult to stay up, but we've proved all season that we can come back. Um, we're never whether we're down by nine or we're down by one, we're gonna come back, and you better be ready for that. So I mean, the energy is always up in the dugout, no matter what the score is. 
uh, Coach Pete LaFleur of College Softball 360. I have a question for you that um, some sports we usually have a day off and we can talk to you about going into the championship. So I just wondering if you could shift focus here for us. Um, going to trying to repeat, which is something that Billy Donovan did, of course, with the Gators basketball back then. If you could share with us, was it easier or harder being defending champs this process? Did Coach Donovan or any other people give you advice? There aren't many teams that repeat in college sports, particularly in a team sport. So maybe you could just give us a little insight on what that journey's been like and any advice you got. Yeah, I, I won't um, I, I won't probably give you too much. I don't, don't want to take up too much time here, but uh, I did lean on Billy and, 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 and Irvin and some other you know friends that I've been around who have been successful coaches. Uh, the key is, is, is this wasn't easier, but there was it was a lot easier to understand mistakes because if you understand what the finished product can look like, um, so I think that was the key. We were able to understand that. This team resembles a lot of what we did last year. We played good softball throughout the season. We had some ups, we had some downs. We got to the College World Series and kind of hit our stride a little bit. We had a good team, and I think that's when I look at what we do on paper. Um, you know, we had three All-Americans this year. We only had two last season, and we we if you take a picture and put it in you know in the dictionary what a team is supposed to look like, I think this team would fill a lot of pages of what it's supposed to look like. We've got a lot of kids on our team that just do so many things to make coaching fun. Um, we've got kids that pick signs. We've got kids that pick up bats. We've got kids that, you know, that, that do so many things to help a team win. Um, so if it wasn't harder, but there are so many different uh, challenges of, of actually coming back after winning a championship that you're afraid that you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna you're gonna think oh we're we're, we're just gonna rest upon that for for this season. These players did not. I think they took their practice level to another level, or their practice skills to another level. But we didn't overdo it either, and that was the thing that I really worked. Billy and I are all very similar, that we want to work, and we want to push them and push them and push them. And he said the biggest mistake he, he potentially could have made was push them too hard, thinking everybody was going to give them their best shot. And he said he backed off, and from that, they really took off once he, he trusted what they did to prepare. And I trust what these guys do to prepare. I think there's where the similarities are. And Nicole, um, you said when uh, that coming on the field when you first got here and people wanted to high five you over the railing was the best feeling ever. And you said your home run was the best <laughs> feeling ever. I'm just wondering if this is the best feeling ever. It might be. They're just they just all add up. It's just they're all great feelings. Like no one, a bunch of people don't get to experience these things, and to know that I'm one of them, it's it's really cool. It's a really cool feeling. We have time for one more question. Ted James, Michigan Daily coach, also looking towards the championship series. You've gotten a chance to see both teams you could potentially play. Is the one you feel you match up against better? No, I don't. I, don't. I think you know that, that both teams have a pretty good balance. Uh, as going through the super regionals and watching, you know, Michigan play Georgia and uh, seeing you know LSU play Arizona and, and then and then watching them all play here at the College World Series. They're they're both. These are the four teams that I, I you know, starred. I, I thought Oregon could have you know, maybe replaced us or somebody else, depending on how the matchups went. But these four teams, Auburn, Florida, LSU, and Michigan, were, were, were four teams I went by. These, any one of those four teams that really felt like the way they were playing coming down the stretch could win a national championship. And so I don't think we match up particularly well with either one of them. I just hope that they don't match up as well with us either. So I think that's, that's our key. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good night, please. Uh,
Be nice to remind everyone, please, when you uh, get the mic, to state your name, your affiliation, and speak the name of the student athlete. Clear. Uh, at this time, we have Auburn University head coach Clint Myers, student athlete Brandon Malero, student athlete Carly Wallace, and student athlete Lexi Davis. Uh, we'll start with coach with general comments about the game, and then we'll open up for questions. I'm just changing my glasses. Take your time, coach. You cool. You cool. Cause take your time. <laughs> First, I would like to say thank you again to Oklahoma City for putting on a great World Series sharing with their magnificent job for staff. It's outstanding. Secondly, I'd like to say how very proud I am to be the coach at Auburn University. These kids were picked to finish eighth in our conference, and yet they were one of four remaining teams in the College World Series. That says a lot about character. That says a lot about drive, competitiveness. It was uh, it was a lot of fun, and we will be back. I'd also like to wish the best to uh, Florida. They're a great team, well coached. They have tremendous athletes. And uh, they're going to do well. It's not, it's not the end of the, the world, as I explained to the girls, because it's really the start of something new. We, uh, we told them at the very beginning going to start a legacy at Auburn, and they are. Uh, our plan is uh, it's now an expectation, as it is with Florida and the other top schools that are here every year, to be at the College World Series each and every year, having a chance to play for that national championship. And these girls didn't have a whole lot of experience to draw upon, but they have some experience now. And um, like I said, I'm really proud of what they accomplished, how they accomplished it. It was a total team effort. And uh, like I said at the very beginning, I'm very proud 
I'm saying I'm the head coach at Auburn University softball. Questions? Uh, for the players, it's Michael Kenny on the transcript. Can you just talk about the, the last 24 hours, 10 innings, marathon yesterday, going in nine today? Just what's it been like, just this roller coaster ride this, this last, uh, like I said, 24 hours? Carla? It's been a lot of fun, you know. It's such a blessing to be a part of something that's great. You know, there's nothing like the College World Series, and I'm just like, so proud to have been able to have been a part of this with my team, and I think um, <clears throat> moving forward, this this experience will be able to draw on you know these games and these tough situations. And you know, yesterday I've had the, probably the most fun I've ever had on this team. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we all had a blast yesterday. I mean that you know that's what you live for those um, long inning games, and I just think that from here on out we'll be able to draw from this experience, and you know I think it really. Um, kind of bound us together as a team, and that's something that no one will ever be able to take from us. Brandy. Um, you know, you go in, you go into the, today's game trying to feed off the energy that you had from last night's game. Um, you know, we fell short, but it's okay. I mean, like I said yesterday, we would try to get done in seven innings. If, if we have to play 10, 15 innings, that's what we're going to do until, you know, we get knocked down. But... You know, I I'm I'm can't, I can't be any proud to be on this team, and I'm very blessed to have teammates that were willing to give it their all all eight innings. Thanks. Um, this game kind of had remnants of last night, which you know we had a ton of fun playing in. Um, it showed a lot of our character, and everybody's saying we didn't have experience coming into this, but I think we did a pretty darn good job for never being here. So um, last night was was a heck of a lot of fun, and today we just ran out of at bats. So uh, you know my teammates did a great job. They picked me up when I got out of the van, um, and I couldn't be more proud of any every single one of them. And we will be back. So Dana Sloan and OA News, Brandy. When Coach Myers came in last year, and everybody has said, you know, the first day he got here and said we're going to the College World Series, and he then also said, you know, he was just some crazy guy coming in and you guys probably didn't know how to react. Now that it happened, now that it's coming on and it's been your senior year, just talk about from that day when he said that to right now. I mean, I always, the moment he said that, I believed in him. And, you know, I'm, I'm beyond blessed that he allowed me to stay on this field and to keep me on the team, to give, to have this opportunity. I mean, he said that he was going to bring us to the Women's College World Series, and he did. Um, so, you know, I can't be more happier, and I thank him very much for all that he's done. Michael Casaranda, AL.com, just for the players. Uh, at what point, you guys played 17 innings yesterday, 9 today, at what point did the fatigue set in? Lexi? Um, I, I, I don't really feel like any of us got fatigued, um, per se. Um, maybe at, towards the end, where I got pulled out the last inning, I think maybe my arm was getting a little little tight. Um, but we we played our heart outs no matter what. And I think um, fatigue or not, it, it was more a matter of character and um, how we wanted to go forward with it. Um, I can't speak for the other players, but I would say probably you know, that rating where I threw two balls is probably where I kind of got to start getting a little tired. Brandy. I mean, you, it's softball. You're going to play with cuts, bruises, breaks. It's, you just got to go out there and continue to play. Um, yeah, right now, I'll be honest that my body's a little bit <laughs> hurting. It's hurting a lot. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's you're not going to show that. The coach is just um, – a lot play different than how you feel and I feel like we did exactly that now that you know it's, it's done you'll probably hear a lot of girls tell you how tired they are but before that you're not going to hear that from us <laughs> coach I, that's the the girls were talking you know, when you have a mission that you are on have the opportunity to play you know, in 
this menu um, all the preparedness that you have is what you have to rely on it's a sense of confidence a sense of being um, as Randy said as, as I said here last night after you know being here for 14 hours you know, you're tired afterwards not during because you know it's the team that uh, that has the mindset but I mean you know I don't think you saw anybody dog it anywhere Either team, you know, uh, that, was, that was great competition. I mean, that was a you know hell of a game for you know, for only two runs being scored uh, on both sides. I mean, uh, true competitors are, you know don't get tired, not until it's over. So uh, I'm I'm very proud of you know their performance. I'm very proud of their you know their dedication. Lexi before we even started this game and I I mean it's to be expected that there's fatigue but I told her I mean no matter what no matter how you know tight your arm is how tired my legs are it's you and me to the end and we just got to keep pushing and just keep going because everyone's going to look to us to be the rock for today and so I think that um, just the our will to win is too strong to even let fatigue kind of come into play like our will to you know just play the game is and it's like coach said I mean we're so competitive that we don't really realize how tired we are until the game's over. And then once we kind of sit around and you try to get up, you're like, okay, yeah, that's where that bruise came from. But um, I think definitely that we're just, we're a very competitive bunch and it doesn't really come into play until after. I guess Mark Murphy from Inside the Auburn Tigers for Brandy, you're just one of just three seniors on this team. Talk about the potential for next year's team. Uh, how good can you guys be? I mean, Auburn's going to be good. I feel like they're always going to be great. Um, going into next year, um, they're, we're going to have a big group of girls coming in. And, you know, me and Morgan have tried to explain to the girls, you guys need to stick together. Um, include the freshmen that are going to be coming in and everything that you guys do. Make sure you guys are, <clears throat> you know, always working together and teach them what we taught you guys. But what coach did from my junior year to my senior year, his junior year was a start over. He taught us what he want, wanted to teach us. And the sophomore year was just moving <coughs> forward from what we left on. So it's going to be important that 23 girls you know, teach the freshmen and <coughs> instead of moving backwards to continue to go forward. Adam Schick, Gator Sports Network. This is for Coach Myers, Carly, and Brandy. You were able to hit Hager consistently throughout the game, but in the big moments, what adjustments do you think she made to keep you from getting that big run total? Coach. Well, oh, they're well coached. I mean, Tim and the staff you know, had a plan and they executed. Um, I mean, you give up. I mean, if you look at the numbers, we had 11 hits and she walked, six, uh, walked four, so we had 15 base runners. Uh, that's uh, that's not just being uh, uh, you know, good pitching. That is a great defense behind. I mean, look at the line drive that we had in the, the one inning. Uh, you know, that was a great play. Um, you know, she made pitches that uh, kind of kept us off uh, off balance. The key thing, I mean, if you look at uh, why she was selected Player of the Year, uh, it's because of the fact that she, when she had to step up. If you asked her, what, was this the best game she ever pitched? She'd say, no, I'm sure. But, you know, because she is a champion, because of the fact that she is who she is, when you're asked upon to make the pitch, uh, you know, then that's what the, you know, that's what the champion does. They step up because they're called the champion. Um, and, and, and again, uh, we had opportunities. Next year's team will cash in on those opportunities. We came up a little short. You know, we are, we've already talked about you know, how we're going to make some changes and, and really get after it so that when we face a Hager, and in fact, we don't have to anymore, <laughs> uh, you know, we will have a better sense. You know, we'll have a better performance. And uh, so, Carly. I think 
think um, we got to tip my hat to her, you know, she, she pitched a great game. Um, I'd say that, you know, she does, she's one of the harder throwers that we've seen this year, and I think when you combine that with good off-speed pitches, um, it's pretty difficult to hit because, I mean, you can't go up there guessing. So I think she did a really good job of mixing speeds and hitting her spots when she was called upon um, to hit those spots. And I mean, we had quite a few hits off of her, but when it really counted, when we um, needed some timely hitting with runners in scoring position, she executed her pitches pretty well. Brandy. Um, I think a little bit to my advantage was the fact that I've seen her all for four years. Um, I've hit all of hers from freshman year to now. Um, but like Coach said, she's player of the year for a reason. Um, and with my last two at bats, she knew exactly what to throw. And, you know, she was able to fool me one. And then the second one, you know, I got bare on it. But her defense behind her was there to back her up and have her back. Uh, Philip Marshall from Auburn 247 Sports. Clint and Carly, could you just talk about the day Lexi had uh, holding them to four hits? Coach? I ain't spending a long time talking about Lexi. I thought she did an outstanding job. You know, um, she was a horse last year. Uh, she started, I think, every game that we, we played here. I think there was a reason. I mean, I think that the, the person that's behind you know, her success is Corey. You know, I mean, I think he has done a magnificent job with the staff. that plan so that they you know, can execute it. When you hold four to the to five hits, you know, and uh, it's, uh, you know, that's a, that's a heck of a job. Um, and she, you know, we gave her a little, a little break in there to Rachel and her for, you know, the two lefties. And then, you know, we stuck her back out there. And she started the inning, in fact, you know, we saw her shaking her arm. And it's the kind of player you want. Coach, I'm good. Give me the ball. You know, get back in there. You know, the one that you know wants to go out there and compete. You know, uh, I, I want the I, I want the opportunity for, for my team. And, uh, you know that's you know, that's what she did. We just you know we just saw that it was you know, getting that time and we had made the change for March. But like I said, when you hold Florida to, to five hits. Extremely proud of her and, and all the uh, all the other pitchers as well as the team for their efforts and, and playing you know, the defending national champs the way they did. Carly, it's been it's been awesome to be able to you know be her catcher and I think that we've uh, we worked really well together um, all season but especially when it came down to it we feed off of each other. Um, she just, she did a really great job today with just staying mentally tough. You know, she, there's a lot of things, you know, fatigue um, might have been setting into her arm. Um, you know, Florida, they're always, I, I can remember all the way back to when I was watching the World Series in like 07, you know, the, the Gators were, um, they were just always a peril for team. And so it's, there's something to be said to be able to hold them to, um, you know, single digit hits. So I definitely commend her for that. And I just, I think that, um, what I admire most about her is how mentally tough she is, and it's just been great, you know, being able to work with her. And I know we're only going to get better going into next year. Final question. As now the season has come to a close, and this has been a season of firsts and history and all that, if you guys, all four of you, could put together one or two words to describe it, what would those words be? Legs. Now that the season has come to a close and everything that has happened, if you could just put a couple words to describe it, what would those words be? Oh, God. Um, a season of firsts for us. Um, we came in with, you know, nobody really expecting us to do anything. And I think that kind of propelled us to want to prove people wrong. And um, we knew with the coaching and the talent that we had, we knew within ourselves that we could do it. And I think that's well, we went out and did. Um, you know, we, I hit a rough patch during the middle of it um, and then kind of turned it around and wanted, 
you know, to come back to my team and this was the perfect part to do it. Um, and I know that they had our backs for the first half of the season. So um, we did a lot of things that no one thought we could. And that's a testament to how hard we've worked, how great of coaches we have. And uh, it's one that we'll never forget. Right. Ever to conquer, never to yield. It's in our fight song. Mm -hmm. That's that's how I am I am this year. <laughs> Carl. I would say it's just this year has been such a blessing, just a blessing. I mean, I really only need one word as a blessing because it's not you know every year that you come across a team where all of us get along. All of us, you know, we work clock in and clock out, day in and day out, and it's just, it never gets old, you know. I, I'm i sitting here, and, you know, it's still kind of setting in that the season's over because I don't want it to be over, you know. I, I don't want to lose the seniors. I, I love them to death, and I think that um, it's just, you know, you really have to kind of sit back and take it all in and realize the season that you've had because, I mean, there, there will never be, I mean, every team's different, but I know one thing's for sure, there will never be another team like this. You know, with you know all the different individual personalities and everything. So, I've just been blessed to have been a part of such a great group of girls. Coach, commitment or achievement to a legacy. Uh, like I said, uh, it takes a while to establish. Coach, do not please thank you for your time.